Oh, hi there. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? You might be asking yourself. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, I'm sitting on my porch, I'm drinking some coffee, but other than that, I'm not doing anything and it feels amazing. I'm not even spending time with God today. What? Nope. I'm wasting time with God today. I realized a while back that we always say, hey, did you do your devotions? Did you spend time with Him? And I'm like, why has it got to be an achievement thing? Right? Like an investment return strategy. Um, because if we're honest, to just be with God, to commune with Him, it, for most of us, feels like a gigantic waste of time. Because our culture, we're obsessed with achievement, right? We're, we're obsessed with success and production and productivity and heroes and we want to do something. And so it comes as a great shock to our ego when Acts 17 says, God's not served by men's hands as if he needed anything, but he gives to us life, breath, and all things. Isaiah says, all that we have accomplished, you have done for us. In other words, even our serving God is a gift from him. What if I told you God doesn't need you, but he wants you? At first you might get offended. Well, he, yes, he needs me. He need, I, Really? God's up in heaven wringing his hands going, How am I going to save the world? You better come through for me. No, man. What, what if I told you your loveliness to God doesn't rise and fall with your usefulness? It, that's tough for us because anybody that we interact with for gut level honest their loveliness is rising and falling with their usefulness to us right do they make us laugh do they make me feel good do they offer me more insta likes or followers or retweets whatever but for god you know he's the king of the universe for him to hang out with any of us he doesn't climb up the social ladder he's climbing down it always so it comes as no great surprise when Jesus descends to earth. And more than that, not only does he climb down the ladder to earth, he chases us all the way down into hell. And he doesn't do that because he needs you to be productive. He does that because he wants you. Just you. Nothing you're going to do for him. Nothing you're going to achieve for him. Just you. So now I can breathe, right? You ever think about before Jesus did any ministry, he lived for 30 years? It's like, what were you doing all that time, Jesus? Just wasting time? No, he was just empathizing with us. Like, learning the human experience as if God could learn. It's a mystery, but it comes as no shock when Jesus doesn't begin his ministry until he hears something. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Jesus hadn't done anything yet. And God was well pleased with him. So maybe today you need to do what I'm doing. Nothing. You know, don't be focusing on what you're going to do, but focus on whose you are. And breathe in the truth that God doesn't need you, but he wants you.